Salutations. Remember me? We met when I was head of security over at the Diamond. Unfortunately, that is no longer the case, but I'm still hearing reports of your lethal brand of business acumen all across Los Santos. With that in mind, I'm working on a proposal for you. I'm not ready to divulge too much yet, but expect to hear from me again soon. Hello, this is Vincent. Haven't seen you since we were first acquainted at the Diamond. Since then, I, uh, unwillingly retired from my former post, head of security. I'd like to offer you a lucrative, albeit unorthodox, opportunity to make some money and sabotage one of your long-standing adversaries. If you're interested, meet me at the Vespucci police station. Advise going inside. Now, with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness, your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to meet you, my friend. Vincent, the LSPD's newest recruit. Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop very conspicuously for 10 years now? In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some Effen coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the Effen cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Not to mention, you land yourself a handsome reward when this is all over. 
so, you up. based on your considerable reputation, this is just a normal day at work for you, huh? Okay, pure simplicity. Get inside, get the money, get out. They're on to you, stay vigilant.
hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. This is a solid fund to use on the rest of our planning efforts. The first leg of which I'll get to work on right now. I'll be in touch. All right, let's discuss a potential way into this place. The cartel are paying off employees of Cluck and Bell to use their factory as a cover. There are a couple things we'll need in order to solidify my current infiltration plan. Let's move.
progress update. The train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage, where it will remain until the day of the raid. Things are coming together. Next on the to-do list, acquiring weapons and gear, or the getaway vehicle, your choice. So, we have some important yet enjoyable decisions to make. On the one hand, you need to acquire your preferred weapons and gear. On the other, you need to acquire your getaway vehicle. We'll need to steal both. These can't be traced back to us. Where would you like to start?
weapons are positively adequate, along with their security. I've read this group's files several times over. Seems they run a tight operation not to be underestimated. We're not talking military levels of security, but they're no petty criminals either. So watch your six, and don't get sloppy or they'll have the upper hand. Now that you've secured all the weapons and gear necessary to take on a Cluck and Bell factory overrun by the cartel, we should discuss your means of escape. Next up, acquiring a getaway vehicle. We need to take the same precautions we did for the weapons. We steal it from a gang, so the trail leads to them instead of us.
Okay. Possible getaway vehicles at these three locations. Sending surveillance footage of the gangs I found. Check them out. I'm sure you have plenty of vehicles capable of getting you out of Cluck and Bell with all your extremities intact. But we need something that can't be traced to us. I require three suitable options for a getaway car. All of them are sourced from local gangs bribing the LSPD to turn a blind eye to their activities. If the car ends up getting traced, the trail leads back to them, not us. We will only need to use one of them for the raid. The choice is always is yours. best mechanic in LS do for you.
as last time. But don't underestimate their ability to adapt. Even when it comes to their rusty ass car, you will find more resistance. Honestly, I'm surprised to find this gang in this neck of the woods. This whole area is run by the Lost MC. Must be slipping. Anyway, can you see the vehicle? They'll likely have it stored somewhere secure. Go for a garage and find a way inside. It should be hard to break into. Back to these guys? They're gonna start to wonder what they did to piss you off. for the magic touch.
magic touch. some potential scrap metal too, I see. We'll make sure you're compensated for the extra effort. All that's left to do. Excellent. I've been investigating where the factory workers park, and fortunately for us, the garage seems to get completely ignored. Your getaway car will remain undisturbed until it's time for the raid. Understand that your M.O. is up to you, but there are steps you can take to ensure the element of surprise is on your side. Introducing a little chaos into the cartel supply line is one of them. If you do, they'll assume your arrival on the train is just an unscheduled delivery. And if nothing else, the looks on their faces will be highly amusing. Multi-purpose apparatus. Damn. 
Montana's incomplete. If we hack additional vans, we can patch the information. These guys won't be happy that someone's messing with their GPS. Stay vigilant. Hey, if you take possession of a uniform, it might allow you some discretion at the garage. Sabotage the trucks, find the key card, wipe the CCTV, and get out. That way, the cartel won't see you coming. Now, you can blow up the trucks and do this the old-fashioned way, but the cartel will find out, and trust me, they'll be waiting for you when we hit the factory. I recommend you keep your head down. Even in that getup, they'll still lose their cool if you're spotted wandering into the more sensitive parts of the building. Things. Ready? 
out there. When your train arrives at the factory, the cartel will assume it's a delivery instead of a full-scale seizure of their assets. Hey, sometimes in the field, we meet the unexpected. And at that point, one must abandon all subtlety and get the job done. I pass no judgment for that. Though in this case, it does mean the cartel will be ready for you when you return for the raid. It's my pleasure to inform you that we have officially completed all necessary preparations to move forward with the clucking bell operation at your earliest convenience. Let's make this happen.
I suggest you elegantly fuck this shit up, regardless. I would advise making a break for the targets when there's a lapse in gunfire. Loot the safe and secure as much of their product as you can. Don't forget the extra gear you crew procured. Feel free to experiment. It should be in a dumpster to the rear of the factory. You see, it pays to befriend your local garbage man. How you doing in that box? Under the circumstances, your customary silence is a little concerning. Should I have added air holes? Cluck twice if you're in trouble. Okay, good. Now remember, when you burst out of that crate, you'll be in the heart of that operation. How you choose to use the element of surprise is up to you. This is it. Good luck. targets once you're inside. The cocaine and any contraband they keep in the safe. By all means, obtain as much of both as you can carry. If you want to refresh your arsenal, don't forget the extra equipment you acquired. I've arranged for it to be left in the dumpster to the rear of the factory.
presence. <laughs> Establish a connection to the computer first. Okay, to retrieve the safe code from the computer, you'll need to secure multiple signals for the hacking device. Lucky for you, I read the instructions. It should turn blue when you're pointed towards one of the right spots. Red, the opposite. Just go straight and you'll catch a connection. Then find the next one. Access code. Okay, that should have done it. Have you received the safe code? Target successfully acquired. You're done. Okay, I'm listening to the radio, and it sounds like that safe triggered some alarm. They're shutting down most of the roads leading away from the factory. Fortunately, we're one step ahead of them. The getaway car should be right where you left it.
entire drug factory without raising any eyebrows. The cops and more cartels. I'm starting to think I picked the wrong career. <laughs> Now to the vital matter of payment. As I'm sure you can appreciate, there are certain transactions I can't be party to as an officer of the law. But if I've learned anything from my consociates on the LSPD, it's how to look the other way. Now remember, as far as I'm concerned, you can hit that factory as often as you'd like. As long as you're giving me reasons to keep looking the other way, I'm happy. As you can see from my choice of transportation, my fortunes at the LSPD are also improving. Just got these babies in, fresh off the line. <laughs> Guess who picked one up? Until next time, let's disassociate. efforts were indeed effective, but it won't be long before they and their corrupt counterparts in the LSPD rebuild their little enterprise. Each and every time we knock them back down, I'll ensure it's worth your while. Effenberger out.